Hello, and this is Donnie. I wanted to welcome uh, you to this particular uh, quick tutorial. This is just real basic, uh, simple editing. And if you notice that I'm using Windows 7, and it's just a given uh, paint uh, program that just comes packaged uh, with the software. But I don't use this. It's a pretty nice uh, given software. It can do some basic things. Uh, I personally use um, uh, Corel uh, Paint Shop Pro Ultimate uh, 4X. But, um, you know, ship modelers, uh, I get email from time to time. Uh, from ship modelers wanting to know how to resize, how to crop, resolution, uh, pixels, size of the pixels of the camera, and it's just questions just go on and on. Uh, so this particular tutorial is just off the top of my head. I don't have any uh, pre-written uh, notes or script. This is just going to be just off off my cuff and we'll just see uh, what we come up with uh, by the way the camera that I just bought here for Christmas is a Canon T3i and before that I had a Sony A350 Alpha and the reason why I chose the Canon is basically the Sony that I had just uh, tried to do some modifications to it and there are some other issues with it that uh, I didn't like. There's more accessories out there for Canon. And I believe this particular camera is 18 megapixel. By the way, just because you take a picture of anything, that does not mean that you're going to have 18 megapixels available to you. It depends on what kind of a picture or an image that you're taking just go out and, and just take a picture turn the lights out take a picture of the darkness or take the picture of of a of a very very dark room to almost where it's pitch black dark develop that put it in your card reader and see uh, what file size you have put up a white card or a gray card take a picture of that and see what your file size is picture resolution is just dependent on uh, what the content of the picture is. Uh, just try and see what happens. You'll be uh, pretty amazed. When you're talking about uh, resolution, uh, it's really, it just really depends. There, just because you take a picture does not mean uh, that it's all going to be the same. I'm sure you have noticed that every time you uh, put your car or the memory stick in your computer, Every one of those files is a different size, I guarantee. Uh, and obviously, the larger megapixel uh, camera that you have, uh, due to the forums and whether you upload your images uh, to like Photo Bucket or Flickr, or uh, there's some others out there, uh, if you do not compress or resize the image yourself, then they will do it for you. And I think that uh, Photo Bucket, uh, what I happen to use, www.photobucket.com, I think they'll accept the full bandwidth uh, of the image. Notice I said bandwidth. Well, sometimes bandwidth is the same thing as file size. If I have a file size that's uh, four kilobytes, I'm just basically saying that the bandwidth is about four kilobytes. Uh, so that's basically uh, interchange uh, resolution or file or bandwidth is all basically uh, one and the same. Um, <clears throat> I guess there's really not much else to talk about photos. Uh, one other thing, sometimes what I'll do is I will take uh, the pictures that I take and I actually reduce a lot of the color or sometimes in video they call it chroma and when you reduce the coloring of an image you're also reduce 
the file size because the pixels and the coloring uh, also has an effect on the size of the image. If you just turn that full color image into nothing but a black and white or a grayscale, uh, even though I haven't tried it, I am venture uh, to tell you that you will probably immediately reduce the file size probably about 25 percent. So that's a further uh, image resolution reduction technique uh, that I use. And of course the uh, Corel uh, Paint Shop Pro, it has an exporting utility for always export the image out to what is called a, a JPEG uh, optimizer. JPEG stands for Joint uh, Photographic Experts Group. And then you also have GIF, uh, PNG, uh, TIFF, of which those I, I don't care to use. Uh, basically, I've done a lot of studying on the subject, and for all practical purposes, uh, JPEG is really the uh, standard and the format that you really need to work with and what you need to stay with. Okay, so now back to this real simple uh, paint program. What I'm going to do here, just click on this. We're going to open up a file here. I'm just going to go to a Sultana that uh, I completed. So, the first thing I would like to do, let's just resize. We will click on resize. And you notice one thing automatically that I don't really care about too much is that uh, the paint program does this percentage. We don't want percentage. It's just really hard to get specific uh, with percentage. So what we're going to do is we're going to click pixels. Before I do this, let's look down here at the bottom. On your taskbar, you will see that your image is 550 pixels by 733 pixels. The size of the file is 91.0 uh, uh, kilobytes. But what we want to do is we want to choose pixels. Now, 550. Let's just say that um, I want to make this like 500. Now you notice when I type in 500, we're going to watch this bottom figure here change. There's no need in changing this. Why? Because we have a maintain the aspect ratio. What is aspect ratio? Well, aspect ratio means that, for instance, uh, this image is roughly uh, 2 times 1 or whatever. And when we check the maintain the uh, aspect ratio, when we type in 500, you'll see automatically here's the, the vertical. We change it to like 475 and it's 633. We can even go as low as 200 and it's 266. Maintain the image uh, aspect ratio. This is crucial. You have to do this in order for your, your image uh, not to stretch out of proportion. So let's go back up to just another number here. When I click OK, boom, it just kind of reduces it even more. But sometimes when I'm working with something, I want to have a thumbnail. So I'll make a thumbnail. I'll do resize again. And again, we come back up here to this percentage. you got to watch that. Go to pixels. So let's choose something that I can use as a thumbnail. And it even gets even smaller. And let's just go back and uh, we have it grayed out. That means I have gone back to the original size. Okay, what about going bigger? Yeah, we can go bigger. And But there are some things uh, about going larger and the fact that you're going to be introducing noise. Because when you go bigger, what happens is these little pixels in here, they basically clone each other. In other words, if I have a pixel here that's sort of like this cream color, and when I increase the size of this here, this increases it to 800. See, the vertical has already automatically adjusted itself. You go to OK, the picture is bigger, but I can start seeing a little bit of freckling, a little bit of noise. Why? Because in order to make this picture bigger, 
the image has to borrow pixels from a neighboring pixel and say, hey, I need to look like you. Let's duplicate. So you can have one pixel here, and basically it runs a mathematical algorithm. It depends on what size you're wanting to make it larger, and it will either duplicate uh, another pixel, two more pixels, four or eight, or uh, a whole gamut, a whole section. It will get to the point where you continue to resize this larger and larger and larger, and you will completely lose a lot of your image details. Things start looking grainy. You just don't want that. So let's go back to its original. You'll see how things look a lot more smooth. Um, let's talk about uh, maybe cropping. Remember, this is resize. When you resize, uh, let's go back and look at something. Then we're going to resize this back down to 300 by 399. And uh, it's interesting here that the size still says 91.0K. But I bet if I was to do a save as, here we have PNG. Uh, that stands for Portable Network Graphics. We don't want that, so we can do this. And let's just save this up to the desktop so we'll know where it is. And we'll just do like a Sultana uh, test. We're going to save this. And you'll see immediately what happened. The size went down to 46.3 kilobytes. And it shows the new image resolution. I'll just go back up here. And even though it still shows... Uh, we're back to the original image resolution, but this is not uh, keeping up. I'm not too sure why, it's just part of the software program. Okay, so let's try to do a simple uh, rectangular selection. And I'm just going to uh, select like this area in here and I prefer to now up here you got crop etc rotate but what I like to do is is to right click and it opens up a sub menu where you can do crop when you crop it automatically you got the area that you want to emphasize here so that's a simple recrop not recrop but just crop excuse me okay so let's let's add some more goodies to this let's say i want to put some text here and we can make the text background opaque or we can make it translucent with different colors so let's set up a, t um, uh, a little bit of uh, some text up here uh, the uh, first color here is the second color here so let's make our first color uh, red that will probably be the text color. And this make the, the second color white, which will probably be the background. Okay. So let's go up here and click text. And as soon as we take our mouse and click in this area, you will see now that we have a choice, opaque, transparent. Obviously transparent, uh, you're gonna have red text on this cream colored background. If you select opaque, you're going to have red text with a white background. Why is that good? Well, uh, you want to de-emphasize this area. Let's go ahead and go with opaque. You'll see that the color has already changed white. Uh, here's where you can uh, select your uh, text style. Come down here and we just choose like Arial. And here's the text uh, size. We've got bold, italics, underline, and your usuals. So, uh, right here, we're just going to say um, Sotana Colonial uh, Schooner. Okay, to automatically drop down to the um, next line here. 
and um, this particular program it seems like they might not allow you uh, to center justify this or right justify but just for all practical purposes uh, it's done so if I click again we just go back or hit the escape key now I hit the escape key so here's the um, here's the fin finished product okay let's say that we want to uh, highlight something here we can put in a little pencil we can choose a size like a thick line here and we say okay this is pointing to whatever um, it doesn't seem like to me that we have any tool to draw just a straight line with maybe this right here there we go so there's our straight line like I said this is all new to me I'm just uh, this is just off the cuff okay so what we'll do is we'll just navigate back make sure it says, says line click line at color one let's choose uh, like green hold it down and then point so there are some different ways that you can use uh, this paint basically it gives you uh, the basic tools it seems like to me that uh, you got rulers uh, which is real good here you can see the pixels it goes all the way up to like over 1600 pixels that way it comes down to a little over 800 pixels that way uh, you have grid lines in case you need to uh, have more specific uh, spacing uh, etc uh, just right off the I don't see any other tools like editing as far as making this image darker brighter or changing the hue or whatever I don't see anything like that but basically overall this is free it comes with your program windows you can see I can resize crop add captions lines to it if I want to and um, basically that's about it so thank you so much for uh, visiting and perhaps next time I will uh, talk about how to use this uh, Corel I'll go ahead and open that up And this program is not that bad. It's about uh, 60 US dollars. And it does, to me, a real good job of managing uh, your programs. You see here, you go to edit. And it allows you to have so many different types of things that you can do. Uh, but we will do this at a later time. And... Uh, Thank you very much for uh, joining in.